Hello and welcome to the 3 minute Quran study, the place where history deconstructs legend. In the last couple of videos we looked at the inherent ambiguity of the early Arabic script, which leads to the question, where does the script come from? Interestingly enough, as far as alphabets go, the Quranic Arabic is comparatively young. The earliest example we find in the historic record dates from the early 6th century. Archaeologists found it in a place called Zabat in northern Syria, far away from where the alphabet is traditionally believed to have originated. Zabat is 1000 miles or 1600 kilometers to the north of Mecca, a significant distance to be sure. In the year 512 AD, a Christian church was built in Zabat. On the lintel of the entrance portal, a dedication was inscribed in three different languages, Greek, Aramaic and Arabic. It is this Arabic inscription which is the first piece of evidence we have for the alphabet which will later be used to write the Quran. On the lintel we read that the church is dedicated to Saint Sergius, a popular Arab Christian saint of the day. 60 miles to the east of Zabat is the city of Rezafa, where Sergius is buried. Because of that Rezafa becomes one of the most important pilgrimage sites, particularly among Arabs. So much so that it becomes also known as Sergiopolis. Archaeologists believe that the church in Zabat was intended to welcome Christian pilgrims on their way to Sergiopolis. At first glance, it would appear quite peculiar that the very earliest Arabic inscription is found within a distinctly Christian context. But once we take a closer look, it shouldn't really surprise us. After all, many scripts were developed by Christian missionaries in order to have a vehicle for Bible translations. Starting in the second century, Christian missionaries developed the Coptic script on the basis of the Greek alphabet in order to be able to translate the Bible into the native Egyptian language of the Copts. Similarly, the Palestinian Aramaic script was developed by Syrian Christian missionaries on the basis of the Syriac alphabet. Further to the north, the Gothic script was developed by Christian missionaries to spread the Bible among the Goths. We know of many missionaries, like Simeon the Stylite, who went to the Arabs in order to preach the Bible. It seems logical that just like the missionaries to the Copts, the Palestinians and the Goths, these missionaries to the Arabs would also have developed a script that would help them spread the Bible. When we compare the modern Arabic script with possible precursors, we find something interesting. Whereas old Arabic scripts like Zabaik have unique glyphs for each sound, an Aramaic script like Syriac is missing some letters as indicated by the rectangles. In Aramaic, these sounds were long dropped, hence there was no need for a separate glyph. However, in the Arabic script, it is precisely these places where Aramaic has dropped certain sounds that the original writers of Arabic texts simply used the glyph for the closest sound that does have a counterpart in Aramaic, which proves an Aramaic origin of the Arabic script. This is a major reason leading to all the confusion regarding Arab texts like the Quran. Only much later the little dots were added, ending the confusion, albeit at the cost of fixing a Quranic reading that may very well be wrong. Some scholars believe that the ancestor to the Arabic alphabet was Nabataean Aramaic. Others prefer Syriac Aramaic. Either way, given that Aramaic was the language of the Eastern Christian clergy, the Aramaic origin of the script seems to confirm the assumption that it was developed by Christian missionaries. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.